What's your biggest first world problem? There's nothing to do at work, but I have to look busy. Edit, Jesus, this blew up over my lunch break. A lot of you are asking what I do, and I'm too lazy to respond to everyone so here it is. I work in IT. The hurricane momentarily knocked out my power last night while I was asleep and it reset all my Philips Hue lights, so I was awoken by every single light in my room being on. Each of my three kids likes a different type of toothpaste. One time I forgot my AirPods at work and I had to use regular headphones but I forgot my headphones adapter for my iPhone so I couldn't listen to music that day. I've said it before and I say it again. My thermos mug holds the heat to damn well. I can't enjoy my morning coffee on my way to work. Have to wait until I'm at work before it's drinkable. When automatic sinks don't sense your hand at the right time and you're just fisting the air with a handful of soap. Work has blocked so many sites, I can't access as many GIFs as I want. Edit, I get it. VPN, I just need to not get caught, as we're supposed to be ISO 27001 compliant. Edit 2, we're also not allowed to bring our own devices, phones, tablets, etc. On the floor, I can use them at lunch, however. Not enough unpaved rough roads for me to really use the 4x4 features of my Land Cruiser. Looking for a good sized plot of land to buy in the county but trying to weigh my options on whether or not I can still get high speed internet. My Bluetooth headphones running out of battery when I'm on longer flights. My drive to work is too short so I never get to listen to as much music as I want. But when I'm at home I do other things. And then 9.99 seems like too much for the amount I listen. Having a fridge stacked with food but not wanting any of it to eat. So you grab your £500 smartphone and place a £20 order for pizza, soda, and chicken wings on the side. The pizza arrives and you tip the pizza guy a few bucks but only do it out of courtesy. You then proceed to sit down and flip through hundreds of channels that you pay for and deem nothing watchable. So you power on your expensive gaming device load up Twitch and watch people play a game you already own. Slice after slice slice until the pizza that could feed a family of four, you don't even eat the crust instead just throw it away. You aren't even watching the TV. You're on your phone on Reddit talking about the worst first world problems. Good house, good wife, good family, good friends, good money, but always self-deprecating sad because my job isn't fulfilling or meaningful. These pretzels are making me thirsty. I have a dark blue luxury sedan in my driveway. Whenever I clean it, dragonflies think it's a body of water and come poop on it. It's covered in little yellow mustard spots all summer long frown. My house is so big that it's annoying to keep it clean. When I miss the bus, I go back home and take the car. Last night at work, my hands got dirty because I was touching so much money. Edit, I was counting cash at the end of the night at the grocery store I work at. Just so everyone's clear. When a message pops up on my watch and I go to clear it, I have to be careful not to accidentally press one of the suggested responses. They are consistently terrible. At best it would look abrupt, like replying OK to a long, thoughtful message. At worst it would be downright inappropriate, like replying sounds good or nice to a message about an ill family member. My cat keeps waking me up like 10 minutes before my alarm to demand food. Even if she still has food, she wants new food in the bowl. I can't find any good topics to listen to on YouTube. I'm tired of listening to political commentary and I need to find something else. Water meters are being installed in my building for the next 2-3 weeks. Each day our water gets cut for 6 hours. The tenants are upset and have to flush the toilet, wash their hands etc. with water from canisters. So, my legitimate first world problem is that I have to endure third world conditions for a few hours each day until my endless supply of clean water gets fixed. 
When I moved into my first house, renting, after college, it was a massive increase in the amount of space I had, especially because it was just me living there. I've always been big into decorating, my college dorm always had plants, framed pictures and posters, etc. I refused to be one of those only a couch and a TV kind of guys. When I first moved into my house I literally thought man, this place is so big, I don't have enough stuff to fill it with to make it aesthetic. Waiting for my family to get their laundry out of the wash or dryer. It's been three days. I'd take it out myself, but they acted like I was a monster last time, so uh, oof. My house is big enough that I can lose Wi-Fi connection in the kitchen. Dealing with the side effects of getting cured of cancer. I'm lucky enough to be alive complaining about all the bullshit after. Cancer is never really cured because all the cures also cause cancer, plus recurrence. That weekends are too short-lived. And also the problem about weekends is that if I go out during the weekend, I would be too tired and not just rest and relax as I want but if I stay at home all weekend, I would be wasting valuable free time. Having a full-time job, and sometimes having to work more than 40 hours a week. Having trouble fitting a large pizza box in my fridge. My laptop isn't powerful enough to comfortably run SolidWorks and Football Manager at the same time. Deciding which of the four strains of medical cannabis to smoke this morning. The water bottles in the snack kiosk at work were just stocked this morning so they weren't refrigerated long enough to be nice and cold yet. The food at the all-inclusive resort I'm currently staying at doesn't meet my standard. Every meal from the buffet leaves me slightly disappointed. The heating in my car works too well. If I want just a bit of warmth cause it's chilly and I turn on the heating to the lowest possible setting I'll be sweating more than a nun at an orgy in two minutes. The Wi-Fi in the house reaches my room on the third floor, but it is ever so slightly slow. I'm 30 years old and am an undergrad student without children. I'm married to an executive who is 5 years older than me. I can't relate to anyone in my life right now. Students are about a decade younger than me. Everyone my spouse knows through work has children or even grandchildren my age. I am trying to avoid people altogether because it's weird no matter who I interact with. Sorry I can't attend your fancy ass fundraiser because I have calc homework. Your grandchildren are at their terrible twos. I remember when my sister was at that age. I can't attend class those days because I'll be at a conference in Florida with my spouse. Students are easier to get away with as long as I'm quiet about my life details. I just feel so guilty when they literally can't afford to eat. Sometimes the battery dies in my RV because I haven't used it in a while. I lost my left airpod. We work for an airline and get free flights, travel a lot, but can't get upgraded to first class when we travel with my daughter because she isn't 6 years old yet. My friend and I wanna get lunch slash dinner after work and we can't decide where to go. Not finding parking in college. I'm gonna go with having health insurance but not enough money to actually use it without going into crippling debt. They discontinued my favorite body wash and finding a substitute that is acceptable requires far too much sniffing of awful slash overpowering scents. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.